Nobody has absolute power and authority. It is He who has sent down everything and He is the Creator. وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدًا وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْكِ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِّنَ الظُّلِّ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا He is beyond your all imaginations of creation. He is Allah. And you ought to praise Him, glorify Him alone. This is what Jesus says in the chapter 17 of John that oh God Almighty give me the reward that I have glorified thee that thou art the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent give me my reward what I proclaim what I praise in this dunya about you oh Allah that you are the only only I hope English people speak English speaking people they understand what is the meaning of only you are the only true God and Jesus Christ Exactly, this is what Allah said. Nobody has your right to be praised except Allah wa kabbiru takbira. When He's beyond all those weaknesses, He's in absolute in His omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience. Then kabbiru takbira. Then only glorify Him alone. Nobody should be glorified besides Him or associates in Him whatsoever in the sense. Chapter number seventeen. Verse number triple one. The last verse of Bani Israel. So, test applied. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran is not one place. Many places Allah is reasoning with his creation. Then Allah says in another place in chapter number two, verse number, uh, I think so, 30 onwards, if you, per, if you study in the context, Allah says that, كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ billahi. How do you deny in the existence of God? How do you deny in the existence of God? Can't you see that you were none? You were not existing. And we brought you into existence. And then we will cause you to die again. And then we will resurrect you again. So what is the catch here? People say, you know, maybe there is God. Maybe so. Allah says then, from where did you come about? What's your origin? Can't you see that you were non-existent and we brought you into life, bringing you into the life where were you non-existent? This is the proof that there is Allah. Otherwise, go man, tell us, exaggerate the whole of the, you know, the most preposterous the proposition is, readily be understood by the most superstitious and credulous people. Go man, exaggerate to the culminating point. Tell us where did we come from? Go to the highest level of your sickness and absurdity, the anomalies of your atheism. I said, tell us where did we come from? What are the origins of human species? You cannot supply the answer. Yeah, you can just, you know, uh, what you call contemplate, supposed to be assumed ideologies. No, sir, we don't need it. Allah says that, can't you see that you were not existing? And then you came into this body, your ruh came from Parzak put into your this you know body whatever the God gave you body what type of body you have and then he will cause you to die again and then he will resurrect you again so if we are here in the first point then we are it is hard impossible to deny that God will raise us again common sense you are here we are here you cannot deny this existence you can see all these things three-dimensional space you cannot deny this. So if you can't deny this life, what is the reason that you are denying the other life? Eternal. You see, this is sickness. We have in our minds blocking the spiritualism world because of Fitna Dajjal. Prophet Muhammad has warned us. Fitna Dajjal is meant to delude people away from the spirituality and put in your hearts into the way of materialism so everything you think i can you know see observe with my five senses i will believe it if something is beyond my five senses there is nothing there there's no existence you see 100 years back do you really know what was the you know microorganisms the quantum physics the physics we are studying right now 